I have this reoccurring nightmare that the Muppets are trying to kill me. Ever since I was six years old, every few years they come back and try again, and like, they either kidnap me, they break into my house, they raid a hotel, they swarm an amusement park to go after me and my family, and like, they literally, like, just every time they try to kill me, and I don't understand because I'm not afraid of the Muppets. They're Muppets. What? What the fuck? Lucid dreaming is a dream where the dreamer is aware of the fact that they're dreaming. This awareness can sometimes give the dreamer the ability to change the environment or control what's going on, making it feel more immersive, which is just as cool as it sounds. This awareness can sometimes give the dreamer the ability to change the environment or control what's going on, making the dream more immersive, which is just as cool as it sounds. But before you go and just jump into trying to do this by yourself, you should be aware that lucid dreaming can have some unintended consequences. Today, I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of lucid dreaming as well as a quick guide on how to try it for yourself. Lucid dreaming dates back thousands of years, with the earliest documentation being from none other than Aristotle himself. He wrote, Often when one is asleep, there is something in consciousness which declares that what that presents itself is but a dream. Lucid dreaming has been referenced in writings throughout human history, but research on the topic didn't even start until the mid-20th century, linking it with rapid eye movement, REM, or false awakenings when you wake up from a dream but you didn't actually wake up in real life. Lucid dreaming has some obvious upsides, like being more involved in the dream and actually being able to remember the dream once you wake up. That's a huge one. But there are some consequences that you should be aware of before you go and try to do it consistently. Lucid dreaming has been shown to give you a less satisfying sleep throughout the night, and there are tons of horror stories about lucid dreaming where you can get nightmares that you can't really control. But if you think that you can get past this point and just accept that it's all in your head, you're gonna be okay. Then, lucid dreaming can be a great way to gain a sense of control over your own mind and have a healthy escape from reality. Most people describe a lucid dream as a dream that felt incredibly real despite the fact that they were fully aware that they were dreaming and had a decent amount of control over what was happening. Lucid dreams do happen spontaneously, but there are some ways where you can actually trigger one intentionally. One way is called Wake Initiated Lucid Dreaming, or WILD for short, and the basic idea is when you enter a dream while you're still technically awake. You know sometimes when you lay in bed in the dark and relax and your mind is able to just run wild before you fall asleep? The wild method is basically just that, but then drifting to sleep during a mini hallucination. Another popular method is called wake back to bed, or WBTB. And it can be a little annoying at first, but it's pretty consistent. You go to bed as normal and then you set an alarm for five hours after you fall asleep. Once the alarm goes off, you do something quiet, low energy, like reading for like 30 minutes, and then you go back to sleep. Once you fall asleep again, your chances of having a lucid dream are much higher than before. The most interesting method of lucid dreaming is called reality testing, and this one takes a little bit longer to set up, but it is the most consistent out of all of the methods. Reality testing is basically just training your brain to be extra aware of its surroundings by increasing your metacognition. Set an alarm on your phone for every three hours, and when the alarm goes off, look at a clock. Clocks in dreams are constantly changing and they don't make sense, but in the real world, they do. They're consistent. So by doing these reality checks multiple times a day, you can increase your metacognition and increase the chances of triggering a lucid dream. Tons of research still has to be done on lucid dreaming, but I hope this video helped you understand it just a little bit more. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and let me know down in the comments what the craziest dream of yours ever was, lucid or not. All right, with that guys, I'll see you next time.